Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott, and today we're looking at how we can create these magic swirly things here. In the first half I'll show you how you can make this material and set it up so it glows nicely, and in the second half I'll show you how I actually drew the material. I use Photoshop for the drawing, but you can use Critter or Gimp. And if you like this texture, then I could always put it on Gumtree. Just comment below, and if enough people comment, then I'll put it up. So let's start with creating the material. So here I am in the basic setup. I'll just delete the default cube, and I'm going to add a plane instead. So Shift A to add plane. So there's my plane. I want it to be upright though, so it sort of swirls upwards. So rotate around the X axis 90 degrees, R, X, 90. And I'm going to scale that up in the Z axis, so S then Z. So it's a nice long thin plane at the moment. Into edit mode and control R to create loop cuts. Use the wheel of my mouse to create a nice lot of cuts. Somewhere around there is great. Left click once and left click again to set. Then I grab the top edge, so I press 2 to go to edge mode, select my top edge and rotate in the Z axis. Now that's only rotating that one. So I'll undo that and I'll actually go to my proportional edit tool just up here and rotate in the Z axis, bring this wheel really up and rotate it round. And there we've got a beautiful swirly thing. <laughs> so back to object mode, control A to reset the scale so that I can unwrap it. So reset the scale there. You can see if I press N on my keyboard and get the item properties, you can see the scale is now set to one. Therefore, it will unwrap properly. Let's go to the UV editing workspace up the top here. Select all and U to unwrap. And it's gone a bit swirly. I should have unwrapped it before I twisted it really, but I can select all these, scale X zero. Let's try that again. I'm in proportional edit still, so I'll turn that off. Select all these, scale X zero, and that works this time. Select all these, scale X zero, and it's flattened them out. Let's zoom in a bit and just line them up by hand. G then Z, with these ones selected, and line them up. Hold down Shift if you want smaller increments. So I've got them all there. Now I need to set up the shader. So let's go to the shading tab here. And I'm in look dev mode at the moment. So I can see roughly what it's going to look like. Let's create a new shader for it. And then let's find my texture. So here are my blue swirly streak. There's one Photoshop file that will work, but it's better to use the PNG file, uh, smaller file sizes. So drag that in, and let's see about hooking it up. So rather than a principled BSDF, it would make more sense if this was an emission shader. So let's change that. I've got the Node Wrangler installed, so I can press Shift S on this and change it over to the emission. If you haven't, you'll have to delete it and insert the emission shader yourself. Now I need the color to go into the color and it will look like this. Let's just line up our UVs. So let's see our blue swirl in here and let's change this to the UV image editor. And if I go into edit mode now, I can see my UVs and I can position them. If I press control spacebar over here, I can maximize this screen and move it into position to be a bit more precise. I might have to scale in the X as well and I can scale in the Y to line it up better. Control spacebar to come out of full screen mode. And you can see my texture lining up pretty well. But it's not transparent yet. We can turn the emission up and that looks quite nice. Let's set up the transparency. So bring my emission out of the way. Shift A to add, shader and transparent. And I need to mix these two together using the alpha channel of my texture. So I'll need a mix shader. Again with the Node Wrangler installed. And you can install it with edit preferences add-ons, type in node, and tick the node wrangler there. Close that down. Now I can press Control shift right click and drag, and it creates a mix shader. Otherwise, you'll have to press Shift-A, shader, mix shader, and hook them all up. So if I now hook the alpha up to the factor here, we can see something's happened, but it hasn't quite worked yet. We need to bring out our tool panel over here, go to the options, and change the blending mode from opaque to alpha hashed. That's the most detailed blending mode. And the last thing we need to do is to just switch these around. And you can see it there. We've got the gray in the background, but it will be okay in a second. Let's go to the world tab and change that now. Change the background to black. And let's go to our rendered mode there. And it's looking okay. 
So let's talk you through how I can make those swirls in Critter, GIMP or Photoshop. I've time-lapsed the process, but I'll talk you through it. You just need two layers, obviously one layer being the transparent layer and the top layer being your blue swirls. And you just paint blue lines like this. So I use a combination of soft and hard brushes and I just sort of test things out, smudge things in, use light bits and darker bits. These will all be plugged into an emission eventually. So it will be quite a lot lighter than it is now. I keep the white background in so I can see what's going on, rather than just having the transparent layer in the background. But I will get rid of the white layer in the end. At the moment I'm building them up on layers just so they're separate, but I will squash this one layer down into one eventually. At this point I thought actually a black background is going to be much more sensible, so I pulled in a black background so I could see what they were going to look like against the darkness. So just adding a few sort of light highlights there. So again, highlighting these areas, just adding a bit of glow. I thought I'd do some spots as well at this point. You could even do a particle system with some spots. I think that would work quite nicely as well. I'm just kind of trying things out really. So different size spots and flecks and things like that, as if it's emitting particles. <laughs> so I saved that uh, first as a PSD, obviously as a Photoshop file, but also a PNG. So I flatten it out as a PNG, make sure those transparencies are there in the background, not the black background. And at this point I set up the swirls. So I used a cylinder and then rotated the top in proportional edit mode. As you can see there, the top button or O on your keyboard for short. And then I twisted them round and then added the glow effect when I found it in my files anyway. So hook that up and then obviously hook the transparency up as well to a transparent shader. I do that in a moment. I'm just getting the UVs correct at the moment. And you can see now I'm hooking them up to the principal BSDF, but mixing them together with the alpha channel. So exactly as I described earlier, but I use the principal BSDF here, but you're better off using an emission, I think. So there we have it. Beautiful swirly swirls, magic portal thingy jiggies. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.